KRCT 13, live at 5. Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft has filed an appeal against the decision to rewrite ballot language over proposed constitutional amendments over abortion. This comes after Cole County Judge John Beatum issued a rewritten version of the ballot language Monday. Beatum's version said it would establish the right to make decisions about reproductive health care, including abortion and contraception, as well as undoing the state's almost total ban on abortions. Ashcroft's description asked voters if they want to, quote, allow for dangerous, unregulated and unrestricted abortions from contraception to live birth without requiring a medical license or potentially being subject to medical malpractice. Abortion rights proponents sued, saying Ashcroft's summaries were misleading. Today, appeals court judge Lisa White ruled the case would be argued orally on October 30th at 10 a.m. Time is running out to fill out a survey on the future of Boone County. County commissioners are working on a master plan to help guide growth and development during the next 20 years. KRCG 13's Mark Slavitt joins us live from the Boone County Government Center, where county officials say their online survey is a major part of their master plan. Good afternoon, Lauren. Boone County Commissioners plan to use information from the survey to get a better understanding of the priorities of citizens and workers. Boone County's current master plan dates back to 1996, so it's been more than 25 years since the last master plan. Boone County Commissioners say they need a new master plan as the populations of their cities continue to grow. For example, the city of Ashland has grown 480% since the last master plan. The master plan serves as a guide for rezoning decisions, land development regulations, transportation improvements, budgeting, and the coordination of infrastructure, such as sewer projects. If you live or work in Boone County, county commissioners want you to take an online survey that will help shape the new master plan. My priority is to make sure that every single voice in Boone County is heard in this project. I don't, my, my biggest fear is that we go through this and then later we hear, oh, we could have done it better if only we had included this group or that voice. We want to make sure that all voices are heard now in this process. Boone County residents have several ways to give input during the planning process, in addition to the current online survey. Commissioners plan to release information from the latest survey by the end of the year. Planning for the master plan is in the first of four phases. Phase one ends with the online survey. We're looking at what we can do to make sure that our fire boards are involved, make sure that our different municipalities are involved, making sure that any aspect of our community is heard now in this process so that we can make the best product that we can. People living and working in Boone County have until midnight Saturday to fill out the master plan online survey at rboone.com. Commissioners hope to approve their new master plan in the fall of next year. Reporting live at, from the Boone County Government Center, Mark Slavitt, KRCG 13. Thanks, Mark. And yard waste and composting services have been a big talk in the Jefferson City area. The city has just over a month to reach a deal with a yard waste compost site. This comes after the Jefferson City Council plan to announce Court Enterprises LLC, the city's new yard waste drop off. But ultimately, the council rejected the contract, citing concerns of people carrying yard waste across the Missouri River Bridge. KRCG 13 reached out to Clint Smith director of planning and protective services who told us he could not comment on current negotiations but did confirm once again the current contract ends on October 31st. The co current site under contract with Jefferson City is all seasons landscape. The owner says the chances of them reaching an agreement with the city is not looking good. Well, I'm not sure at this point. I mean, uh, obviously we negotiations have kind of halted and uh, you know, we're uh, we're uh, unfortunately planning to close at the end of the term um, on October 31st, and so, you know, unless um, we can reach some uh, an agreement, um, 
I don't know that uh, this the yardway site will continue to be open. He claims the city council is seeking a month to month contract with minimal increase. He also says when all seasons landscape first went under contract with Jefferson City back in 2010, the yearly contract was $240,000 and now despite inflation and higher cost for services and staffing, he says the final year of the contract they are in comes in at $201,000. As for now, they are planning to close down the site at the end of the contract on October 31st.